Hey y'all, this is Carolina Trekker. Um, today I'm just going to show you all how I like to make my char cloth. Um, what I have in my bag here is just an Altoids tin, and I have a hole in the top, and I'm going to take some, uh, some cloth that I have from an old t-shirt, I'm going to throw it in here, and put it on the coals, and we'll get some char cloth going, so stick with me. Hey y'all, so this is what I have, just my Altoids tin with a hole through the top. What I'm going to do is open it up and throw some of this cotton um, in here. Don't want to fill it up all the way. I want to leave enough space for uh, the cooking to go on. So I'm just going to put some of that in there. A couple more pieces. And then I'll close it up. Move these coals around a little bit. Throw this right in there. Alright y'all, so now that we have our tin on the fire, um, it's going to start smoking and what it's, what's happening is the, the cloth on the inside is burning without actually being exposed to the fire. So when it is exposed to a spark or a coal, um, it'll take it very well. So what we're going to do is wait till it stops smoking and then uh, pull it off and see what it looks like. So stick with me. Alright y'all, so the Altoids tin is not smoking anymore, so we're going to go ahead and move it off the coals and open it up and see what what it looks like <laughs> all right so as you can see it's nice and black um, and it started off uh, pure white just like that so we know that we have a good char. So we're going to take one of these pieces of char cloth and then I'm going to take my tender bundle here and I'm going to put a spark on it and throw it in here. So let's get to it. So y'all can see the, the lines of red going around there. So I'm going to throw that right in here. There we go. We have fire. Alright y'all, so now that you've seen um, this t t char cloth will definitely take a spark and make fire. Um, I just wanted to throw in that when, you, when you're using char cloth, you want to make sure that you have a dry enough tinder and you make sure it has a good enough surface area for the, the spark on the char cloth to, to start lighting. And um, whether you're using uh, flint and steel with char cloth or a ferro rod, um, you know, they both work very well because char cloth just takes a spark just like that. So, um, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.